Hi Libra, I decided to do a daily download for you guys. I wasn't going to do another love message for you for um, another day or two, but I felt a message coming through about, it's felt like a healing energy. So I sat and meditated and definitely picked up a beautiful message for you guys. It looks like a healing message, a message that brings hope and clarity. This is hands down like the best message I've done for you guys for a while. It is general though, good primarily for sun, rising, moon, and Venus. Okay, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign. Um, I read for Libra and Sag here. I read for all 12 zodiac signs on my other channel, so I'm a Chandra Tarot. All right, let's get into it because it's so nice. It was so good. I was like, I just felt all this healing and clarity and healing and clarity. And I was like, yep. The tower and justice and clarity came out. Some things, you're going to have a really important conversation. You either did over the weekend or you will in the next 48 hours. That it's like, I think it's going to make you feel so much better. Because the reason for the reading is the two of cups. So this is like an important conversation where you discuss feelings with someone. I clarified it. This is such a cute deck, you guys. A friend of mine sent it to me. It's out of print. They don't make it anymore. I don't know what it's called, but I have death, the tower and the chariot. This is a conversation about, I think, endings and closure for either you or for your person. It's coming off of this person over here. Okay. I channeled the energy around you and then how they see you. They see you looking so amazing, by the way. This person, I think, like there's this ending that has been really slow with death that's been a sudden shift totally it could be a scorpio they could have scorpio in their chart you may as well and it creates this change that allows for the chariot she's doing tricks on her bicycle it allows forward motion the way this person sees you or their situation right now, Libra, is farewells, goodbyes, finality, and closure, and only you fixated, attached, and hypnotized. I'll tell you right now, this person may be getting a divorce. They may be moving from a place they've lived their whole life. They may be letting go of something that's been very hard for them to let go of. This person may resist change as well at times. They could maybe have earth or they have a stubborn side or a ritualistic side. If they're a Scorpio, they're a fixed sign. They have fixed signs, have a hard time with change. So they've had to say goodbye to something that's hurt them. You need to know that. And only you, they want you. Mm -hmm. I use the angel oracle deck about their energy too. And I have free yourself and stay optimistic from your uh, about your life or your love life. This person needs to be reminded to focus on positive thinking and that will bring them romance and happiness. There is something they need to let go of. They have struggled to let go of it. You need to know that, but you don't look frustrated. You look like an angel right now, Libra. You look so beautiful, but whatever this conversation is about, kaboom, it will bring balance and justice. I have the five of swords here. You were waiting for this. You were fighting for this. You almost gave up on something, I think. I have the fool down here. Is this going to happen or not? It could be a fire sign. Six of wands, king of wands. For my masculine, some of you are about to feel really good or you have a masculine around you, maybe a friend or a colleague or this is that person maybe. They may suddenly get really fiery and excited and passionate and lighthearted. Something will happen that brings a lot of balance. Yeah, the tower just slipped in reverse. This person is having a hard time accepting change. I can see they are. So a person in your energy, Libra, they see themselves as the eight of swords in the world. They have had to cope with an ending that they have not wanted to deal with. They may have to move or relocate because the world can be about travel. Like they have had a difficult time accepting some kind of an ending in their life. Okay. They see you as the three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, they think that you're very loving. They think that you're very cooperative. I feel like you're saying to them, let me show you how to love. Let me show you the way. You have a King and Queen of Cups on the table. I was like, well, what are they so stressed out about? And I got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Wands. This could be about, no, I don't want to move or I don't want my family to move there's something they resist. There's been a heaviness. They may have carried heavy burdens in their throughout their whole life for their family, where they live possibly. 
if you guys live together, you might not, somebody might not have wanted to move. It's probably this person. Somebody may have resisted some kind of a change, but the way they feel about you, Libra, and the way they just feel right now is the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Clarifying the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups is the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, look, I have the Ten of Cups twice, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. This person is a very emotional person as the King of Cups. They could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in particular Scorpio, but they don't have to be a water sign. They're just very emotional. This person may be going through a divorce. There's a chance that the two of you are divorcing and they don't want that to happen. But I have an Ace of Cups to the Empress here. I think they're trying to move towards you. The conversation you have will bring change, finality, closure, like it's the kaboom you needed to feel better and move forward. But this person has deep regrets over something painful that's happened. They have held on to it with the seven of pentacles. Okay. Something may be happening in your family, the two of you or where you live or external to the, your relationship. They could be going through a divorce or some kind of an ending here. Your cards, Libra, are heart-to-heart -heart conversations and trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. I think that this conversation, Libra, puts you in a place where you are able to trust. Because I can see, like, when I did deeper clarifications for you, you might have had a hard time with it. Also, your cards were rejection and confessions. I have clarity and epiphany at the bottom of the deck. Okay, okay. You may have had irrational fears, like irrational fear saying no and dismissal. You may have had an irrational fear. You will unveil something to this person in this conversation. You will tell them some things that you may have kept from them about how you really feel. You might have been afraid of rejection. You might have been dismissive of their feelings or of your own. You will confess this. Whatever is spoken will bring clarity and an epiphany which is good. We don't want to walk around in confusion, right? If this is like the heart to heart conversation that you needed to have that will bring you to a place of trust. The way you're feeling right now, Libra, is the lovers and strength. Wow. I think you are, you're like this pillar of hope and a beacon of light for this person and for yourself right now. It's taken you strength of character up until now. It hasn't always been easy getting to where you are right now in your life or in this relationship, but I think you truly believe that spirit is bringing the two of you together. You really do. This water sign energy, things could be opposite, roles could be reversed. If you're a masculine or you're into women, you could be trying to come into alignment with this water sign. Yeah. But that's how they see you. And I was like, okay, well, Libra believes that the two of them should be together, that they're in perfect alignment, but it's still been hard. It's been a struggle. You've had to be strong. So I clarified this for you. And I have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Hangman. Yeah. There was, you were the Eight of Swords like they were. There have been, there have been things that you've been irrationally afraid of that you couldn't open up and talk about. But the two of cups is the confession and the heart to heart conversation. Now you see everything differently. Now you have surrendered something. Now you will see everything differently. You might have even been a little sad up until now because the queen of cups looks sad. This person's actions towards you Libra are the knight of pentacles but the six of cups. Okay. But I clarified it and I got the Ace of Cups, the Empress, that's you, and the Six of Swords. This person wants to come towards you. They love you. They want to be with you. But they are moving slowly. They're in a place of transition. I mean, I have the Eight of Swords with the world. They have a hard time accepting some kind of a change or an ending. They have regrets. They're sad. It's hard for this person to move on. It's hard for this person to, to move quickly. It's hard for them to step outside of a comfort zone. They seem very preoccupied with their past. And that's why it's hard to come towards you. If you have kids, they want to put in hard work for kids as well. It's like they have a hard time letting something go. I feel like a lot of this might be about this person's family or childhood. Now, if the two of you are having some kind of a, if something's happening between the two of you, 
I think they're letting you know that this hurts them to accept an ending, but they will move on and they'll always be here for you. You know what I mean? Like they'll always have a cup of love for you. Even if you're like breaking up or something, because sometimes the tower and the, and the justice and the ten of swords could mean you guys are breaking up. But I feel like this person's trying to come towards you, but let go of something that's difficult. Your actions towards them, Libra, are the high priestess and the sun. Libra, you just look so strong and diplomatic and graceful. You're like Vesta, which is so dignified, very loving, very strong. You're showing them nothing but optimism, but quiet. The high priestess won't chase anyone. She lets people come to her. When I get the high priestess and the queen of cups, that's a counselor often. That's my card combination of life path for like a counselor or a healer. You bring optimism and clarity. People come to you, tell you their secrets. You're like smiling, nodding, listening. I see you being a very good listener right now. Like you won't over talk this person. You'll just shed light and optimism and strength and dignity on the, onto the situation and you'll be very quiet. Like your intuition is correct. When I get the high priestess to the sun or the high priestess to the ace of swords, something you've been listening to your intuition about is suddenly cleared up because there was a fog with the eight of swords for you. And now it's finally lifted. Some of you might have been kind of paranoid about something for a while with this person even, or you were afraid to talk to them. And I clarified the high priestess and the sun for you. And I got the sun again, the chariot and the six of wands. You feel good about the direction your life is going right now, whether you're coming together or apart, it does not matter. You are, these are, I'm like, holy shit, that's the best card combination I've seen for Libra in like a month. You are going in a beautiful direction now. Optimism, overcoming obstacles and challenges. You feel very proud, very successful, it's so good. Your final outcome is the wheel. It's like things are changing and changing for the best. Clarifying the wheel is the Ace of Swords, the star of Aquarius and the world. Wow. This is whatever this conversation has been about. It has brought clarity, hope and closure, finality. Everyone's going in a good direction. Karma, the, the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fate is turning in the most positive direction it can possibly go now. I feel like the convert, this heart to heart conversation is going to bring in a lot of trust, a lot of trust. And it's sudden with the tower to justice. It's like, boom, you have a conversation that you've, it's been slow. There's been a slow transformation happening that finally got talked about that allows for this chariot forward motion. This person is trying to free themselves from something and say goodbye so that they can either come towards you. Now I get the sense, I have to say it one more time, some of you might be getting up, like divorcing or breaking up from this person. If that's the case, you need to know that this is hard for them. They will say goodbye and free themselves and be optimistic about their personal love life, but they're always gonna kind of carry a torch for you. They at least have love and care for you, in particular, if you have children, that's very important for them. But I feel like someone's trying to come towards you, Libra. And now it's like something's finally happened that will allow for so much more forward motion. I wondered if maybe a Knight of Swords or the Knight of Wands was going to come out. It didn't. Only a Knight of Pentacles for this person. But we got the Chariot. We got the Chariot twice on your end and hear about what the conversation's about, where it's going massive transformation that leads to hope, clarity, the world, true endings and beginnings that are very powerful. And this person's gonna, they, if they're, if it's a person trying to come towards you, they are coming towards you, Libra, just continue to release and surrender. You can't control the pace of it. You can't control their speed. But there's going to be this massive breakthrough. There either has been in the last couple of days or there will be in the next few days. This is so good. I'm not sure who this is in your life. This could be a romantic partner. This could be a family member, a close friend. But it's an important conversation. And you just show up looking like this 
loving counselor with strength of character. And you could even be giving this person advice about total value alignment. But what stressed you out no longer stresses you out. That's the point. This is the conversation, a breakthrough conversation that you absolutely needed to have. Yeah, this is so good. All right, Libra, that's your daily download. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, I hope it helps you. You can always book a private reading with me if you want to work with me personally. The link to my website's down in the description below. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Libra. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.